High is the spiritual person that hopes in the Lord continuously, not just sometimes, with a real inner feeling that knows that with God, everything is going to work out okay, even when it cannot be seen with the eyes or thought with the human mind. You have an underlying deep hope in God. In those desperate times, when we feel like we don't have an ounce of strength, God will gently pick up our heads so that our eyes can behold something. And that something will keep hope alive in us. In Psalms 31, verse 24, it says, Be of good courage, and God shall strengthen your heart, all you who hope in the Lord. If we place our faith in God's promises, we should never lose hope. After all, God is good, and God's love endures, and it endures for you, no matter what religion you are, or if you have religion, or if you do not. God is with you, and it is the great, I believe, sole quest of this life to discover that. However you choose to discover it, whatever church you choose to go to, you know, we all have the, the same head, the same God, and the truth is the same. It's just the little things that are different. Now, I disagree with religions that say this is the only way because there are many ways to God. God is like the hub of the wheel and the different religions are like the spokes. And yet it all leads in to the one hub. So wherever you are, whatever you're standing in life, you have direct access as much as I do to God, and you can pray and you can have that touch of God upon you in your awareness. God has promised you great gifts, and you can discover those seen and unseen gifts that are available to you, because God keeps God's promises. But sometimes, even those who trust in God become discouraged. We see too much with our eyes, think too much with our human mind. Perhaps you have recently endured a great difficulty or even suffered a life-changing loss. Are you struggling with questions for which right now you can't find the answers? Have you ever come close to abandoning hope? Well, all of us have because we have human eyes and we have human mind. And yet, in our soul, we have to go beyond these to, as the Bible says, a wisdom from above, above our human mind, above our human eyes. This is the time, this weekend, to focus your thoughts and your prayers on God's love for you individually, and God's promises for you individually. God has a plan for your life, and that plan is good. So today, accept God's offer of hope and strength and courage by putting your trust in God. And when you do, your future is secure.